Shani, Steve, what up? Hey guys, today we're back with a new video entitled How to Make Yourself Available for Love. Exactly. Boom. Many times we think we're ready for love and we're not ready for love. Or sometimes we're single and we want to be in a relationship really badly. So how do you make yourself available for love? Number one. Self-appreciation. Look in the mirror and say, I'm kind of awesome. Appreciate who you are. Appreciate people in your life, the trials that you've been through. Realize that it's all working together for your good. You are awesome and you are good enough. Number two. Believe that someone is out there for you. I have friends that say, there's no one out there for me. And they may not believe it inside, but sometimes the things that you say come to fruition. Someone is out there for you. What yeah. you believe will come true. Good, bad, or ugly. Number three. Get rid of people who make you feel negative about your life and about yourself. We don't want to come off as too good for people, but sometimes people just do not understand the negativity that they put into the ear, and you don't want that. And when you leave someone's presence afterwards, how do you feel? Do you feel mm -hmm. empty? Do you feel negative? Or do you feel empowered, mm -hmm. inspired? Like sometimes your friends may be going through something and you're there for them and you may feel a little down afterwards. That's not the same thing. Sometimes, you know, you just feel the pain of your friend and that's different than right. always hanging out with somebody and feeling negative about everything. everything. You're able to receive love when you're in a better mindset. True that. Give me some. Boom. Mm. We live. Number four. What's up, Pacho? There. I'm about to repeat that. His grandpa's here. His here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just wait for that to pass. We'll just wait for the sound to pass. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. Number four. Go out. Go to places that you like to go so you can meet people who like to do the same things as you. Now, the only danger is that is sometimes you could build a relationship off of something that you both like to do and then you guys get stuck on that. Right. And that's all you talk about. Right. That's true. It's but, nice to start building on something that you guys have in common, right. but we're ever changing, so. But ultimately, go out, have fun, experience life. Now, if you're stuck in your house eating Cheetos, watching Netflix, all the time by yourself. And watching us all the time. And watching us all the time, which is not a bad thing. Watch us, receive the information, and then go forth. <laughs> go forth. <laughs> this is my advice to the ladies. I think we need to come out of the groups. If you're trying to meet somebody, it's kind of better if you go by yourself or you go with maybe one other friend so that you open yourself up for guys to try to talk to you when you don't have your crew with you. In life, the possibilities are endless. All you have to do is make sure the doors are open for possibilities to actually be there. Bonus, 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 bonus. Know what you want and what you don't want. Write them down and then rate them from one to 10. If you're more than 10, you wild them though. I had like five or four. I think I had like 11. You had 11? I think I did, yeah. Well, if you had like eight of 10, nine of 10, just make sure that thing is something that you can accept. These things are not concrete, they're just guidelines. Do not be crazy and be so concrete with this list that you run away, Mr. Right, Mrs. Right. With every relationship I've been in, I've made a list afterwards. But I like this part about her, but I didn't like this part about her. So I don't want that ever again in my relationship ever again. And next relationship, because I was open and because I believed that someone was out there for me, literally the perfect person for me in that moment came along. Taught me lessons, blah, blah, blah. They were there for a season, not a lifetime. And we broke up, almost always amicably. And the next person came along, and it was this one. Mwah. I'm the next and last. She's the last believe one. it. She's the last one. I'm gonna die with her. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't just watch it and then just go turn to something else. What you should do is <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Yeah. That's what you should do. What you not gonna do. What you not gonna do is watch this video and then go watch another video. We out here for likes, comments, and subscribes, and shares. That's what we out here for.
and we're here to help you as well. So guys, go out into the world, love, live, and... Go forth. Go forth and find that someone. That's it. That's all we got. Have a good one, y'all. Shani and Steve, we out.